Good morning, students. Once again, I welcome you to my video lectures on signals and systems. So, in the LTA systems, we have come to the last but one chapter, last but one topic uh, that is block diagram representations. In the examination, you are expected to work out uh, problems on block diagrams. It is of two types. Number one, given a differential equation or difference equation, you are hereby required to construct block diagrams. Okay, that is one, number one. Number two, number two, there are two popular forms of block diagrams. Direct form one and direct form two. So, students are required to construct block diagrams either in direct form 1 or direct form 2 for uh, either continuous time systems or discrete time systems. So, today we will make a beginning to block diagrams. Block diagram representations. Block diagrams are pictorial representations of differential equations or difference equations. Pictorial representation. It is very popular. In all branches of science and technology, we use block diagram concept. Students will easily understand. It is interconnection of elementary operations on input signal. If it is continuous time, it is HT. If it is discrete time, XN. So there are three basic operations that are involved in block diagrams. These are number one, scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication means multiplying an input signal by a scalar. I have shown here. Xt is given to a block of 2. 2 is a constant. It becomes 2xt. Sometimes blocks, block is not shown. Or simply it is written 2. Below this line, it, if it is written 2, that means 2 gets multiplied with xt. That is 2xt. In the case of discrete time system, it is 5 times xn. That is what? So, 5, 2, they are all scalars. So, this is scalar multiplication. Number 2, summation. So, summation of signals. So, here for a continuous time system, this is called as summer. So, there are two input signals, xt and wt. So, wt is bearing minus sign. So, addition of two signals, that is xt plus of minus omega minus wt or xt minus wt. This is what is called as summer. And for discrete time systems, so here xn and wn are inputs and the output is y of n is equal to y of n is equal to x of n plus w of n. So this is in the case of summer. Now lastly, the third operation is called as integration. So, integrators are preferable than differentiators. The reason is, this is the fact. If you have conducted experiments on operational amplifiers, op-amp as an integrator or a differentiator, differentiator introduces noise. That is why uh, differentiators are not preferred compared with integrators. So, here integration, xt is the input to the block of integration. yt is the output. So, yt is integration between the limits minus infinity to tau x of tau d tau. That means if you are given differential equation, you have to convert that into an integral equation. Okay. Next, in the case of discrete systems, so here xn is the input signal to a block s to the power of 1. So, if, if 1 is shown above s, that means a shift of 1 unit. If it is 2, it is a shift of 2 units. So, xn when it is given to s to the power of 1 block, the output is x of n minus 1, a shift of 1 unit. So, in the next class, I will work out the problems. So, there are two types of problems. So, given a differential equation or difference equation, you have to construct block diagram. And the second one, uh, either in direct form 1 or direct form 2. Thank you.